Ectogenesis. This is the development or growth of an organism in an artificial environment outside of the body in which it is naturally found. Artificial Womb for Babies Possible in the Future Published June 24th, 2022 Scientists have thus developed an apparatus known as the artificial womb. An artificial womb, also known as a biobag, enables an infant to be conceived outside of the human body. Ectogenesis is the scientific term for pregnancy conducted outside the uterus. It was first tested on a baby sheep, and the results were productive. The lambs were in the external wombs for four weeks and appeared to develop normally just as much as they would have inside their mothers. So look, before we even get into this, this concept has been researched and discussed for some time. And this is probably the most scariest, most evil thing humans could possibly do to the world. And there are several reasons why. One of them is that how is a person going to feel when they grow up to find out that they were a bag baby? Every time they want to roll out some new technology like bio bags, they always have some medical reason to do so. Just understand that ethics is not the issue here. Ethics is not the reason they haven't microchipped everyone yet. Ethics is not the reason they have not started the cloning factories. They just took new experimental technology and used it on a good portion of the world population. Ethics? They have none. The regulated scientific community and the media are very clever at how they present things to us. Their most favorite thing to tell us is that they are still years from accomplishing their goal. In the meantime, we can see that they are lining everything up to piece together a solution. They can already take a fetus 22, 23 weeks old and use incubation to bring that child to full term. It is the embryo stage which is tricky, which is up to eight weeks. And they are almost certain that they can use their technology to take a child from conception to full term, all outside the womb. Not just with an artificial womb, but with the help of AI. Chinese scientists create AI nanny to look after embryos in artificial womb. Researchers in Suzhou have developed an AI system able to monitor and take care of embryos as they grow into fetuses in the lab. Technology won't be a problem for its future application, but legal and ethical concerns might, warns Beijing-based researcher. Yeah, because we all know that China never does anything unethical. Okay, so surveys show young Chinese women increasingly rejecting the traditional priorities of marriage and children, despite the drastic easing of China's one-child policy and other state incentives. Low birth rates are a worldwide concern, in fact, especially for developed societies. When SpaceX founder Elon Musk sparked a social media discussion on population collapse two weeks ago, some tech gurus proposed a lab-made womb as a best solution, as it would reduce the pain, risk, and cost of childbearing for a woman in her career. And there it is, folks. Those two paragraphs I just read to you, that is the beginning of the end right there. 
with the divorce rate the way it is right now, it is no wonder why more and more people are rejecting the idea of marriage. I believe it's around 44% in the U.S. right now, which is almost like flipping a coin that your marriage will work out. That percentage is way too high for any one person to favor that type of commitment. That is one part of it. Abortion laws are changing, right? See, I don't trust the government, whether people think that the Roe v. Wade decision was a good thing or bad thing. I think it was done just to further their master agenda, which is to have total control of population growth. Think about it. Let's say women in the United States are no longer allowed to get an abortion, but they are allowed to take that embryo or fetus and stuff it into a bio bag to bring that child to term for the state to do whatever they want with. I mean, people already believe in surrogate mothers. They already believe in giving up their children for adoption. People have already demonstrated that they have no problem with abortions. So, yes, artificial wombs are most likely going to happen. Folks, do you realize that now women today who have been, how should I say this, experimented on, they are more likely to have a miscarriage. And if they are able to bring a child to term, that child is more likely to have physiological and other developmental issues. And once enough women find out that they have been affected by this, they are going to look at that bio bag as a viable option. You see how this works? They have been planning this. I'm serious. Wait until these teenagers, in a few years, find out that they can't have children for some strange reason. The population at that point will definitely be in trouble. And it will almost be like a bio bag is their only option. This is all a mess, I know. And the artificial womb is not the worst of it, because if bio bags become a thing, then we are going to have an entire race of humans that have gone through their development in a lab rather than in the womb of a woman who has emotions and moves around and sleeps and exercises and who, whose child in the womb receives attention and love and positive energy from the mother and other people. I mean, what type of soul do you breed in a bio bag? Not to mention they are going to try and genetically manipulate these bag babies. Guaranteed. Speaking of which, and this is the scariest part, pay attention because this is crazy. An artificial womb is one thing. And we all know and understand that in order to make a human child, you need the egg from a female and the sperm from a male, right? Scientists made synthetic embryos and created an ethical dilemma. And this was just published recently. Children, even some who are too young for school, know you can't make a baby without sperm and an egg. But a team of researchers in Israel have called into question the basics of what we teach children about the birds and the bees and created a mouse embryo using just stem cells. It lived for eight days, about half of a mouse's gestation period, inside a bioreactor in the lab. Now, if that doesn't cause chills to run up your spine, I don't know what will. This is beyond creepy. Listen to this. In the latest study, the scientists started with collections of stem cells. The conditions created by the external uterus triggered the developmental process that makes a fetus. Although the scientists said we are a long way off from synthetic human embryos, the experiment brings us closer to a future where some humans gestate their babies artificially. Freaking gross. Does anyone else think that this is all types of wrong? 
and see, they already have all the components. They said that the growth was triggered by the external uterus, meaning the artificial womb. But listen, each year, over 300,000 women worldwide die in childbirth or due to pregnancy complications. Many because they lack basic care. Even in wealthy countries, pregnancy and childbirth are risky and healthcare providers are criticized for failing mothers. You see, they already have their reasoning in place. Look, I want to save lives too, but I don't want to do it at the expense of humanity, where we have to now bring synthetic humans into the world. And I can almost promise you, by the laws of nature, those synth humans are not going to be able to reproduce. So what does that mean? That means, like in the Matrix, people will no longer be born. They will be grown. That's all for now. There is more to come, so please stay tuned. Be sure to visit woodwardentertainment.com and the Woodward Entertainment Store. You can follow me on Instagram at J-A-E Woodward. Everyone have a great day. Stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.